Ebeshiya. <laughs> 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 Kindly introduce yourself to the viewers back at home. Tell us what's your name, your full names, ulizali wa wapi, umeishi wapi, ulienda shule wapi. Hizo vitu zote tunataka kujua. Okay, fine. Me, my name is Elvis mm-hmm. Malipe. Mhm. Mpakwa Nick. Mm-hmm. And uh mzali wa Mombasa. Mm-hmm. This place called Mikindani. Mm-hmm. So I've school just around here, Mikindani Primary School.
Yeah. Right now, Yo, uh, on which level? Because it goes with levels, right? Yeah, it goes with levels. And you start with the white belt, mm -hmm. goes to yellow, green, blue, brown, then black belt. Mm -hmm. And in between the colored belts, you have stripes. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So at the black belt, you have different degrees. Currently, I'm still a first degree black belt. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let, let me take you back to Form 1. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when you go to Light, Light Academy, right? Light Academy, yes. When you go to Light Academy, what motivated you to get into this sport? Because I, I know there are other sports in that school. Well, as a kid, I loved uh, watching those action movies, you know, mm -hmm. those uh, movie stars, the fighting, it's a fighting kind of movies, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I loved, I loved the art of fighting. So then I decided maybe if I can find a place they can, they can teach me this thing, mm -hmm. maybe I'll join. Mm -hmm. So when I went to my high school, luckily, the club was there. So my coach enrolled me to the club and then I started training. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And that was it? That was it. Uh, since from one to from four, I know you participated in several competitions. Yes, I did. Uh, which was your highlight? Uh, well, in my first ever tournament, mm -hmm. I, I was in form two, mm -hmm. to 2010, that is. Mm -hmm. So I, I defeated the defending champion, the national champion, mm -hmm. back then. It was my first tournament, but then I... Okay, you're form I, two? Okay, you're form two, yes. Yeah, I what? Well, I like, uh, same level, uh -huh. but he was the current champion. Uh -huh. He'd been training for like five more years before me. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. so I came, took the title away mm -hmm. with me as a fresher, uh -huh. and that's when I became kind of known in this game. Uh -huh. yeah. So, uh, from two, Ikakua Ivo. From three, from four, so you continued to keep the title? I'm a yeah, it in. went uh, back and forth, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. A sport is a sport. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh -huh. So I defended it for two years in a round, uh -huh. and then I lost it again. Uh -huh. Came to get it back uh, two years ago. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's been a fight. It's a game. So yeah. people are training. Uh -huh. Not nobody sleeping. Most people would, uh, would because you you just told us you entered the sport because uh, of the kind of movies you used to watch. Yeah. Uh, in Form One, when you're getting into Form One. Uh, was there any bullying in that school? Because this is one of the factors which uh, actually motivates people to join nah, such sports. Okay, in my school, luckily there was no bullying. It's mm -hmm. a good school. Mm -hmm. So it was not a factor, uh -huh. really. But yeah, it could have helped in yeah. case there was any. What? <laughs> 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 okay, okay, before I started training, CJ mm Pigana. -hmm. You don't say? No, when I started training, that is CJ uh Pigana. -huh. But before, I used to be a fighter. Baya Sana. Okay, on a movie, you don't repeat. Okay, on a movie, to your movie, as a yak. So, but in Kansa training, Evie, CJ fight then. Why? Say because you have the skills, you can. I know. I, I believe you're a better fighter than even the police. Sure. They don't go shooting people because they have guns. Ah, sure. You know, sure. They're trained to use them sure. when they need to use them. Mm -hmm. So if you don't need to use them, you don't have to fight. So let's paint a typical scenario, as uh -huh. in Okasema. In what scenario would you fight? Probably. In a in a life threatening scenario. Uh, if I can, if, if it doesn't threaten my life, mm -hmm. it's not worth it. I can kill someone, you know, sure. and it's not a good thing. Maybe they have kids. You can kill someone. Not when, when it's too grand. There's a more victim. Anyway, yeah. after high school, mm. uh, did you stop there? Ama Uliendelea? Uliendelea. Mm -hmm. I came out, I joined the police dog unit club. It's mm -hmm. the headquarters club. So I trained there with Master Clarence. He's been my coach ever since. So we've been training all through up to Leo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, training, training too, Ama Kuna competitions, you know, may participate. Competitions you may participate. Every year there is the annual Mombasa Open International Togil Mudo Martial Arts Championship. It's held in Aga Khan Academy, Mombasa there. So we've been participating in these tournaments. A few medals to show off, of course. It was your Yeah, by the way. Yeah. So these were my first medals. <laughs> my first international assignment in Thailand, 2014. Mm -hmm. Match, mm -hmm. so I got a gold in sparring. Mm -hmm. So I kicked somebody. Sparring. <laughs> yeah, I whooped someone there. <laughs> Some Asian guys. So and I got this medal. And then <laughs> <I> <laughs> <this>. <laughs> what? <laughs> you whooped someone, eh? Yeah, of course I did. 
you don't get these things for free, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have to kick some uh-huh. 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 And this is a bronze medal mm-hmm. from the same event. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got for team forms. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then upper, you have several medals also from Mombasa Open. Mm-hmm. Quite a number of them. This yeah. is also another international assignment mm-hmm. Let me see. in Korea. Uh-huh. Last year, September. Yeah. Yeah, I got a bronze, I was third place. Uh-huh. Yeah. How many countries have you been to? Currently just two. Uh-huh. Okay, three, including Kenya. <laughs> it's a country. No. Wait, when you're Uku, Mazi. <laughs> when you're Uku. Eh? Yeah, and these are from Korea again, February last year. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, so I won in forms. Mm-hmm. This is team forms. Mm-hmm. And this is from the, what do you call this? Individual sparring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the difference? Now, uh, bring us up to speed. What's the difference between these things? Because you have some individual sparring, you have some team, whatever. Okay. There is a sparring. Mm-hmm. There's a fighting that you know you see in the mm-hmm. ring with the referee and mm-hmm. stuff. That's sparring. Mm-hmm. That's sparring. Mm-hmm. And then you have forms. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a it's a display of techniques. Mm-hmm. Those basic techniques they are put together to form like a drill, mm-hmm. right? Then, you do it individual. Yeah, there's the one you do individually and then you do as a team. As a team. Uh-huh. And then sparring, there's also the one you do individually, individually and, and the one as a team. Uh-huh. Yeah, so a team of sparring composes five five players. Besides being a black belt, just uh, participating into these things, mm-hmm. you're also a coach. At a very young age, people will know that a coach, what do you coach? So in martial arts, mm-hmm. you, when, once you get to black belt, you're qualified as an instructor. Yes, so you can pass the skills to the young generation also, mm-hmm. the upcoming uh, athletes mm-hmm. in martial arts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I got to black belt in 2014, mm-hmm. and I, I've been teaching ever since. Currently, I'm teaching at Shimbalatoya High School. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What uh, you There's a big team there, <laughs> around uh, 40 students. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's a big team. <laughs> So what motivation do you carry every time you are probably in that outfit? Because yeah. uh, what motivates you to do it every day? Okay, it's, it's a passion. Mm-hmm. I love the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the game so much. So whenever I, I see those students, I see myself back then mm-hmm. when I was a white belt. Mm-hmm. You know? So I give them what I can give them because I, I wish, I know that could have been being me some years back, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. What, what can you give me? Because you're giving out things, so what can you give I'm me? I'm giving out skills. Yeah, see, what, what skills are you giving? Are you ready to learn? Ah, very ready. You want to learn? Okay, shake my hand. So this is a handshake, but it can turn into a very painful situation, right? Ah. You can please explain to your viewers what you feel. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh-huh. So yeah. let me try. So it's that way, but I yes, that way. Aha! Uh-huh, I press. I can feel it. Yeah. If you can feel it, yeah. yeah. So now at least you are a good student. Thank you very much. In Guinea, in Guinea, you have to stand up now. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you grab my hand, mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. So the normal uh, reaction people is pull. Yeah. Yeah. And uh-huh. this is never effective, you know. Uh-huh. So when when uh, you grab my hand, I can just hold you so that you don't let go again. Uh-huh. And then I just grab and hold you and take this down. How does that feel? Actually, in vita. Oh, in vita, my dear. In vita. So, so, if, you, uh-huh. so if, if I don't hold you, just leave. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. once you hold me, I just make sure you keep holding me. Uh-huh. Then, uh-huh. then I. I do that. You can feel it at that joint. Uh, yeah. Hapu, hapu, hapu. Yeah. Hapu. So, that's it. Yamusho. Yamusho. Yamusho kabisa. The other hand now. Uh-huh. Maybe you're holding with that hand. Mm-hmm. So the pulling never works. Yeah. And I can't apply this skill to this hand. Aha, uh-huh, because? Because it's, it's the opposite hand. Yeah. So I will grab you with this hand mm-hmm. and let go. This is the weakest point. Aha. Uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. The thumb. Yeah, yeah. So I let go from there. Uh-huh. Can, you, can you see? Uh-huh. So I hold you. I let go and then I have your face now. And I'm done holding you now. <laughs> <laughs> and this lands on your face. Tell you what if I have been cocky. <laughs> you can't get cocky with that. <laughs> so uh, we are here at this beautiful house. Uh-huh. I still live at my parents' house, uh-huh. luckily. So my mom is good at this. 
how has she supported you because you know most parents would be like mtoto wangu hapana hii ni vita stuck in the okay at first it was like that mm-hmm. they were scared of course you know mama's boy kind of growing up mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. so my mom was uh, scared my dad was okay he did boxing himself back uh, then so he so understood the thing mwanaume <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah i started my mom has been supporting me she's been my chef all, all through mm-hmm. up to today yeah and so, you know, this kind of sport uh, because it involves physical it's it's a physical kind of sport yeah. right uh, any physical sport requires a certain type of meal ama a certain type of food na for kula chakula flani you know for kula so what's your ideal kind of food my ideal kind of food is uh, a food rich in carbohydrates and proteins mm-hmm. yeah every meal has to have some enough protein mm-hmm. and carbohydrates because uh, i train two times in a day mm-hmm. so twice twice so in the evening I do martial arts training but in the mornings I do my own fitness training. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and your fitness training what does that entail? Weight training. Ah. Yes. Ah. So you have to see you know that that's that's personal mm-hmm. but uh, it supplements my martial arts training, you know. Uh-huh. So when you do lift weights uh-huh. you become a bit stronger. Uh-huh. You have an edge in the ring when, uh-huh. you, when you're fighting. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. because you have uh-huh. you build a muscle endurance uh-huh. in the uh-huh. gym, yeah. Uh, what kind of music do you enjoy? Cuz uh, uh, when ki, when kijana eh hey. eh hey. I listen to electronic music. Oh, na kwa dai utasema tipito. Ah, is. I don't dance so uh, <laughs> electronic music, you know. <laughs> yeah. Electro, peke yake. Electro house. A bit of rap music. Kitogo tu. Kitogo tu. Eh. Yeah, but electronic is I mean. Cuz you still live with the parents. Uh yeah. sita kuliza uh wife uko pikia nini yeye kuja lakini my girlfriend not wife oh sorry umeleta vizuri sasa yeah. ako ako angalia ile camera usema unajua kuna warembo wengi sana wanakucheki ako na wanaweza kuwa na ideas coming soon aha aha <laughs> tutapata mwaliko ama vipi ah mtaliko nyote lazima eh yeah. so uh, how does she how does she help you probably uh, encourage you to continue with the sports yeah she supports me she is also my student. Usiseme. Yeah, she is. Sasa mkiamua mpigana kwa hiyo nyumba itakwaje? Hapana, she is still my student. Oh, utamnyorosha bado. Uh, it can't happen. Eh. <laughs> 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 yeah, so she has been supporting me together with my mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, emotionally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she's been part of my happiness, you know. Yeah. When I'm not there. Uh-huh. So I spend time with her a lot with my family and how to get there. Uh one thing that comes out out of all this uh interview when you're talking about it's mm-hmm. that you're a young man and you have certain things that drive you as a person, right? Mm-hmm. What are those things? Well, uh, in any sport, you have to be disciplined and uh to succeed in anything you have to be consistent. So you can't just start training for 2 months and then you leave. You go do your other things for 5 months and then come back training. Sure. No, you'll be rusty. So mm-hmm. You have to keep training day in day out at least three times every week yeah where do you see yourself uh, five years from now five years from now yeah I see myself out of my parents house <laughs> definitely <laughs> come on come on <laughs> okay. definitely. I love who yeah. also I need to start my own club mm-hmm. where I can raise my own kids mm-hmm. in martial arts mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. yeah so for the next generation of athletes mm-hmm. this is a kind of uh, it's a physical sport right uh-huh. and when when it comes to physicality and all that you are injury prone because it's the mnalimana kwa hiyo ring si 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 bure okay what's the worst kind of injury in shapata the worst kind of injury in shapata it was a black eye yeah. just that peke yake i've never broken anything in the ring it's just a black eye a few sprains and injuries and there yeah so it's it's a safe sport uh-huh. it's a lot of contact yes but uh, if you are trained well you can avoid injury you don't say you can eh uh-huh. yeah you can't be hit, you can't be taught how to t- to to hit someone uh-huh. and not be taught how to block yourself from being hit sure, by sure, someone sure, sure, sure. yeah uh this is a very kind of it's a it's a new sport roughly here in Kenya because it's not quite popular see kama football see yeah, kama right. volleyball of course uh, what would you say uh, this county government thing 
kwa sababu sasa hivi kuna devolution going going in Kenya we have devolution uh, would you say that the county government has at least tried to uplift this spot uh, as at now not yet because mm. uh, we've been only been receiving support, uh, support from the national government mm-hmm. But the county government, uh, uh, there's still something they need to do about sports mm-hmm. back here in Mombasa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want you to take a moment and talk to the youth back at home because guys are watching you. Mm-hmm. Kuna guys, kuna wala wako inspired, wana wana uki jana, by the end I make it big. Nikona shundo wana kunyo sangata. Urona, kuneza wapati advice gani? Uwambie, kuna ma youth huko njo na cheki. Tu wapati advice gani? Well, youth, uh, they can do it in any sport. Just choose what you like, mm-hmm. and uh, you'll succeed. Mm-hmm. Anything you love doing, mm-hmm. when you do it with your heart, you just succeed, and be consistent, yes, and disciplined. Always, any sport, listen to your coach. Yeah, he's been there before, so he knows what you need. That's just it. Yeah. Lakini kabla tu jamali za interview, ha? Mzoa kuna box kubo apa baide ya tujafungua. We sasa hundi mamboyote sasa. Apa no mamboyote? Eh, kai box. Is a trophy. Ah, yeah. That's a nice way of doing it. <laughs> yeah, this trophy I got in Korea. The eighth world Tongil Mudo Peace Cup Peace tournament. Cup tournament. Yes. Yeah, individuals in form. February 2016. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was the champions in forms, individual forms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was first place. So, you know, you've shown us all this. Na kabla si demalize ya naona kuna kadoli hapa hii dolin nini. Ah, so this was the official mascot of the event in Uh-huh. in Chongju mm-hmm. the martial arts masterships mm-hmm. so the official mascot was there everyone was given a Omeitan Chong Chongju Chongju is the city uh-huh. in Korea where we so unajua Korean kidogo basically counting and a few words here and there so kuna za nini hebu count mark at Korea eh hana dol set net dasu tio su kilgo biru how be all hashtag ATN life and style hashtag be on the spot <laughs> tell us do you know Korean can you speak to all this let us know eh na ingine ndio So this is a this was an appreciation plaque from the World Tongilimudo ah. Federation. Uh-huh. It was just a certificate of appreciation. Certificate neko kwa mbao. Hizi ndio hizi ndio certificate unajua? Si ile ya kuraruka ikika kwa kwa file ama Yeah. So yeah. Let me read it to to our viewers back at home. Okay. Mr. Elvis Malipe Ole. Mpaku Pakwani Pakwani. Eh. Hey. During the fourth Mombasa Open Tongil Mudo International Martial Arts Championship 2016, uh, for your generous contribution towards the growth and development of Tongil Mudo and uh, unified martial arts globally, promotion of national cohesion, peace initiatives, and general sports development on 28 August 2016. Wow. You're a great man. Thank you. You're a great, great, great man. Eh? Thank you. Mwa kifungo hiyo academy itafadhali niitwe. Okay. Sa, eh. karibu. So sahi unasemaje? Eh? Mimi nasema asante. Thank you very much, Mzee. Safi. Karibu ni, karibu ni mzee hivi. Sa, kunywa. Si ndio? Hiyo ni yako. Hawa nao kikula kwa macho. Kwa macho. Tukiendelea the next segment, si ndio? Safi. Wow, okay. Cheers, man. Thanks. To us, man. Welcome, welcome back to Life and Style. This is Wellness Monday, where we tell you the best project you can ever work on is you. Na tumeona beyond the spot. Philip, Brian, ebu ebu acha kwanza. Unajua? Unajifanya master sasa. Unajifanya master sasa. Unataka kuonesha nini? Unataka kuonesha kitu. Unataka kuonesha nini? Unataka kuonesha kitu kingine? Ah, lakini zinguona shika sana wewe. Nini Brian? Unaharibu pamba. Brian, eh? Karibu pamba. Hii lesson mbili tatu sasa umekuwa mkali. Karibu pamba. Ona, ona pamba. Umekuwa mkali tu. Ona pamba bro. Lakini leo nilikwambia leo nafujo. Nafujo. Leo nafujo. Leo nitakushika shika mashati kama mali. Leo lazima nichokozane tu. Unajua sasa jiwe wewe si tu uko mnangarisha na sitaki karibu outfit eh. Acha nitachokoza. Nitaenda uchokozi mali. Lakini kitu moja ina bamba nice sport ni. It's not a violent sport. Wale ule mse tumongea na Elvis unapata anatuambia tangu anze hiyo sport since he started he's never fought anybody off the pitch off the ring. No no. You see that's the that's these sports you need even if you teach your kids early enough mm-hmm. it disciplines them. Mm-hmm. Why is he enda? Mm-hmm. Atajua akichokozo wakati amekuwa bully mm. ikibidi wakati ile amejaribu kabisa. Uh-huh. Kidogo tu alafu 
Unajua kwa unaguza tu alafu unatulia. Lakini unajua kifika kiwango yake. Jamaa na black belt. Siongelee mshipu yako nyewe sio. Ah. Siongelee black belt. Isi tu kinakuaribu akili. Sikupenda kwa wewe. Isi tu kinakuaribu. Sikupenda kwa wewe. Isi tu kinakuaribu. So anyway 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 anyway. We are taking a short commercial break because this is wellness Monday. Na show ndio imeanza kwa sababu we've seen fit and fab with this guy here. Aitwa Phil Fitness Monye. Then Gonna be on the spot. Elvis, Captain Night, Elvis, Ole. Ole. What's that? 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 What's they're coming right up, so don't go too far. We always use a lot of fresh spices, okay? I realize that. Yeah, yeah. so we've got cardamom, iliki. We're also going to use raisins, zabibu. Yeah. So,